Hey everybody, Ben here from the Bonehead Podcast and welcome to Star Player Spotlight. We are looking at all of the star players that have been spoiled in the Blood Bowl 2020 rulebook. We're looking at their stats, their skills, the teams they can play for and their brand new special abilities. And today we've got a player that has become a replacement for a myriad of other players. He is now the ubiquitous chainsaw. We've got Helmut Wolf. So let's do the good, bad, good, shall we? So the good news is that Helmut Wolf can play for any team. So that's Grack and Helmut that can play for absolutely anybody. So everybody gets a chainsaw. You get a chainsaw, you get a chainsaw. This is like if Bob and Jim did Oprah, everyone would get chainsaws, which is cool. Uh, it's interesting to give an elf the opportunity to take a chainsaw on the team. Um, <laughs> actually, we saw that in one of our secret league tournaments. Um, Ian Triple Power Triplo took the Dark Elf uh, Kane team and ended up with the chainsaw and um, said it was okay, being useful to have high agility um, to dance, dance around and then have the chainsaw to take out the big guys. Said it was quite useful. Um, so that was the good. The good is that everyone gets chainsawed. The bad is that all the other chainsaw players have gone. <clears throat> so no Nobler Blackwart anymore, no Bryce the Slice, all gone. Just replaced with one single chainsaw man, Helmut Wolf. On the plus side, it means that all of those models that you had before, you can just use as Helmut Wolf. So Helmut Wolf comes in at 140,000, which makes him the cheapest star player in Blood Bowl 2020. Gone are the days of 80k star players. Gone. Gone, gone. For now. Hopefully we'll get a PDF with the old boys coming back in. However, Helmet Wolf, 140. Very, very affordable. In fact, cheaper than a wizard. And potentially better. I don't know, that's debatable. But Helmet Wolf is movement 6, strength 3, agility 3+, plus, no passing, which makes an incredible amount of sense on account of him having a chainsaw in his hands. Uh, armor 9+, plus, average. So... Skills wise, chainsaw. Yep, yeah, clearly got a chainsaw. Loner 4 plus. Secret weapon, stand firm, and pro. So he's got the standard chainsaw package there of secret weapon and chainsaw with Loner 4 plus. But also, this guy's got stand firm and pro. So pro lets you re roll one single dice on the roll of a 3 plus. So it kind of makes up for him having Loner 4 plus because you get a 3 plus version to do it anyway. So if you do want to block with him, which you really shouldn't be, you should be chainsawing, you know, you can. But it means that pro can be used for kickback on the chainsaw. So this guy is now a really effective chainsaw star player. You've got the standard chainsaw, and then you've got this guy who, if he does get it wrong, he's kind of got a 3 plus save for a reroll. That's incredibly useful. Stand firm is going to come in handy uh, just to keep him in place. So whether he's on the corner of a cage, whether he is just directly in the way of your opponents. The downside of a chainsaw is that they make very tasty targets to be blocked because that plus 3 to armor value is massive so look for helmet to be blocked so you stand firm um, sparingly it means you can get into places and you can stay there but leaving a helmet wolf ever unattended will lead him to uh, to probably be subject to a jolly good blitzing so i don't really have anything else to say about helmet when it comes to his stats or what he does for you on the pitch his stats are average his ability is that he is a chainsaw with pro which is pretty great. Okay, kind of thinking if you took a goblin with a chainsaw, gave him a strength boost, that would be 120k. You chuck pro, which is a double skill, that's 160k. Helmer Wolf is cheaper than that. So in that regard, that's pretty good. And it is very cool that all teams get a chainsaw. So he's got this special ability, Old Pro which is once per game, Helmet may use his pro skill to reroll a single dice rolled as part of an armor roll. Okay, so we just got leveled up here. So we were already looking at a chainsaw player that had pro that could make the chainsawing more effective. Now he can use the pro skill to reroll one of the dice uh, for an armor roll. So not only is he going to be more effective in actually using the chainsaw, because on a 3 plus you get to reroll that one, if you don't have to reroll the one, you get to pick one of your armor dice and reroll it. So if you roll a 
I don't know, a five and a two and get a seven and you need a bit more. You just re-roll that two and you've got a three plus to break the armor. That is going to be really, really good. So we've gone now from having Helmuth, Helmut Wolf as an average chainsaw player to once per game, he is going to do the thing. He is going to do his thing, which is tearing players apart with a chainsaw. The downside is that he is secret weapon, so at the end of the drive, he is going away. So really useful for those teams that have the bribery and treachery or something, special ability, which gives you half price bribes. Very useful for that, because actually, Helmet on the pitch is going to make a difference. Talking about Helmet on the pitch, let's have a look at some of the models you can use if you want to run him. And first up, as ever, we've got the Forge World model. When this landed... <laughs> I was a bit disappointed. It's a very dynamic model. Uh, the paint job is significantly better than I could have done, but doesn't make it look superb. However, it's Forge World, so casting quality will be absolutely good. It will be, will be fine, and, and the model itself is great. Um, it fits in with the Blood Bowl aesthetic. is very characterful. Uh, what's the phrase we like to use? Uh, it's highly stylized. So if you want it to be uh, an overweight, middle-aged, Barleyman Butterbur on your pitch. Forge World is the place to go. On the downside, it's going to be 20 something pounds with postage. I do have an alternative for you, which is from Willy Miniatures, and it is very creatively entitled Human Star Player with Chainsaw. So this looks like uh, was it third edition. So the old blue box. Um, yeah, third edition Blood Bowl human team. Fits in with it. An absolute treat. Got a chainsaw. This guy's 9.95. And I think uh, I prefer this, but this is the really cool thing about um, about Helmet. If you're an undead team, there's a ton of undead star players with chainsaws. If you're a chaos team, there's a ton of cool chaos models with chainsaws. If you're or your orcs, you've got Ogroth, you've got Nobler, the old guys, who will be able to use um, to represent Helmet. So in a very similar way to Grack and Crumbleberry, when we talked through those, we said, actually, it gives you an opportunity to, to, to kind of pick and choose some models to represent something that blends in and fits in with your team. If Helmet remains the only star player um, eligible with a chainsaw, at least for the foreseeable future, your modeling can run just crazy because there's so much out there. Just if you need a chainsaw, 15 pounds you will be able to find one that fits your team perfectly um, the dangerous thing is trying to get a chainsaw for every one of your teams because with helmet that is going to be the case and at 140 it's not a bad price and that kind of summarizes where i am with helmet for 140 you get a weapon and it is a cheap way to threaten your opponent because that chainsaw having plus three on armor is seriously going to make even dwarves sweat because uh, armor 10 plus is only a roll of a seven on a dice and a seven on 2d6 is more likely than not especially with this guy's old pro ability is if you do get an opportunity to, to, to hit that armor you get to re-roll one of the dice it's brilliant blitzing with a chainsaw with this guy is actually a very good idea if you can get onto the ball carrier the majority of the time seriously consider it okay pro and uh the old pro ability means that he is going to be reliable so we've all done it where we've uh, blitzed with a goblin and a chainsaw and he's just chainsawed himself and it's just wrecked your blitz action that pro is going to help out more often than not so it could be that helmet wolf turns out to be a really great defensive player for not a lot of money Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think of Helmet Wolf in this edition, and we'll be back soon for another video.